Yeah, I feel pretty confident actually. Um, and based on what I saw this morning, I am I'm encouraged with the numbers at the polling station and knowing that community and the history of that community, I think most of the persons I saw this morning would be supporting Labour. I saw a lot of people passing and, and giving me the thumbs up and smiling and basically telling me that, you know, you're covered or they already did it, you know, so it's, it's pretty encouraging, pretty positive feedback. But, but to be honest, I, I really didn't interact with a lot of people outside of the polls. I just, just the ones who knew me uh, from my community that passed and, and said hello. And based on the way they were smiling and, you know, their body language gave me the impression that, they, that they're supporting. Walk us through it, man. What's the confidence level like at this time? Well, like, uh, the process was a very simple one. There are no long lines here as yet. But we hope in earnest that the people do come out and give support. But indeed, this process, this journey has been a comforting one. One that is new to me, but representing the people is not new to me. So I just hope that the message that I deliver to the people will resonate with them. And they will in turn come and give me support. Indeed, I'm comfortable, I'm confident. I do what I normally do as a people's person. I speak to people, I do what I can for people. And I hope that the outcome is accepted across all levels. And the voice of the people is the voice of God. I thank everybody for coming out and supporting. And I just hope and pray that we do the necessary things to move our people forward in a positive way, come after this election. That we can unite this country and let us get back to doing the business of the people, working together in one cohesive voice and taking Barbados to the next level.